Hello, I'm Hubert, and welcome to Decodable Demos, where we demonstrate all things related to streaming. Today's topic is a much re uh, requested one. We'll be demonstrating how to configure Apache Kafka with MTLS and use Decodable to consume data from it. Let's get started. <clears throat> First, we will uh, go through these um, this workflow of how to uh, what the process is to set up uh, Apache Kafka with MTLS. Um, here is where this is the the tar file or the archive that I'm using to um, um, install and run Apache Kafka. So let's get to the beginning here and just recreate our environment. Uh, we will create. Uh, I'm just going to remove the Kafka directory and start from the beginning. <clears throat> So explode this, tar svf. It's our directory. And our demonstration here will use a, a directory called SSL in the Kafka home directory. So we'll do that, we'll create that directory right now. Great. Now we're going to switch back to our local machine. We're, this is where we're going to do our all of our work. Um, just to walk you through what's happening, all the work here is done in a make file where the commands are clearly um, uh, displayed. And the first thing we're going to do is um, uh, create a certificate authority. Um, a certificate authority is uh, gives you the ability to sign certificates. Typically, there are certificate authorities out there for you to use. Um, for instance, if you look at the corresponding blog, and the decodable.co for configuring MTLS for Kafka, um, you'll see some of those um, C popular CAs that you could use to sign these certificates. Okay, but we're again we're acting as our own cert uh, uh, CA, so we are creating our own key and insert to sign uh, certificates with. Okay, um, just to back up a little bit, uh, TLS. Uh, the difference between TLS and MTLS is TLS is a is a one-way uh, uh, TLS where the certificates only exist on the broker Kafka Kafka side or the server side, and the client doesn't have a server or, or a certificate. So when they communicate over an encrypted line, um, the client is acting as an anonymous client. So the 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 server side, in this case Kafka, doesn't know who the uh, uh, the client is. With MTLS or mutual TLS, the certificates exist both in the broker side and the client side. So we have to create certificates for both sides. Okay. And when we create these certificates, we have to sign them and that's what the CA is for and that's that first step. Okay. The next step is to create uh, a key store. These key stores will hold the uh, CA certificate and the signed, um, the eventually signed certificate uh, that we will um, sign with these our CA up here. So we will create a key store for both the server and client to hold these uh, these certificates, and then from this, these key stores, we're going to generate a signing request. A signing request um, will. Uh, will originate from this JKS file or the key store file and we this is the file we send to our CA so we would send them to these uh, certificate authorities to have them signed but in our case we're going to sign them ourselves and there are going to be two files here one for the server one for the client to re requesting a certificate okay next is we take these certificate files or, or request files the server and the client and with the certificate authority, the CA and C er, uh, CA and, and cert and the key, we take the certificate authority with the request and we sign that certificate and that produces a server certificate. We do the same thing for the client. We have the client cert file here request. We take the uh, certificate authority, we sign that, uh, the certificate and that produces a Client cert sign certificate. So we have, we have new now two signed certificates. After that's completed, we now have to import 
these uh, certificates and the, the, the CA cert. So in the key store, we need to import the sign cert for the server, for the server key store, and the CA cert. We also need to create a trust store and to put the uh, CA cert into as well. So since we are acting as our own uh, certificate authority, the, the server and the client need to trust that certificate or the, uh, the CA. So we put that certificate in the trust store so that we could, so the client and server can trust that CA, okay? So both the CA and the signed certificate go into the key store and just the CA goes in the trust store. We do the same thing here. In the, um, we do the same thing in the client side. We take the signed certificate for the client. We take it and the CA cert and import it into the client's key store. And then we likewise put the CA cert into the client's trust store. Okay, and that will be it. The outcome of it, uh, of all this is just uh, four files, two of which go to the broker or the server, the server key store and the server trust store. And the, the client key store and the client trust store stay with the client. Um, that's where it'll use that to configure its uh, a client side uh, TLS connection, okay, MTLS connection. Okay. Um, once, so once we copy these two files to the server, we have to do some work on the broker side. We have to um, create, uh, go to the server properties file, which is the configuration for the Kafka broker. And we set these values. We, ha we, we set the path to SSL, if you recall. So we want to put these files, both the key store and the server trust store in the SSL directory. And then we'll we'll tell and we'll put that information in the the the, the, um, the configuration. We also want to put our password for those key stores. And I'll show you how we uh, we set the passwords on down below in the page. And lastly, down here we want to force uh, authentic authentication and we'll make authentication required. We also want to do this when we start Kafka. Uh, set the Kafka ops to debug so that we could debug the um, the output of the the uh, TLS uh, debug logs so we can see if there are any issues with the uh, the MTLS configuration okay after that we'll we will verify the uh, the port 9093 that's our TLS port notice here we have a night also a 9092 that is a port that is not secured so we have both a non-secured and a secured uh, um, endpoints for 9093. So we're going to test this endpoint to see if it has if it has certificates um, to show us. Then once we this is a uh, this is uh, successful, we want to create a client um, client properties file. We need to configure the client. Uh, again, we have to give the, a path to the trust store and the key store, the passwords to each, and set the set protocol to SSL. And then this this property here, we want to send to empty string because um, we want to not verify host names. Okay, um, by by um, removing this, the default is to verify host names. And you can try that yourself. We will cr uh, create um, certificates with host names in them, um, but we're not doing that. We're not going to validate uh, the host names. You can try that yourselves. Uh, and then we use uh, those um, those configurations to use the Kafka console producer to produce data into our topic. You can also consume data using that same configuration file, um, and that's it. Okay. After we've tested the console con uh, consumer and producers, we will then go and um, and configure a decodable client to read from that same uh, Kafka MT uh, cluster enabled with MTLS. Okay, to get started, we need to create a, a, a .env file. And in that EMV file, we want to put the broker host. In our case, it's our EC2 uh, instance, uh, the host instance, the host name for that instance. 
Uh, this is the server side passwords and the client's password, so you can set that to whatever you'd like. And this is the server side um, broker path to your SSL directory, so you can set that. And the automation that we have in the make file will do this all this work for you and copy the resulting um, server trust stores and key stores into this SSL directory. And we will also have a local directory, uh, uh, SSL directory that we will have for our client um, keys, uh, key stores and trust stores, okay? Uh, so let's look at our configuration file here. Here's my host name, a server and password, and then the path to my my Kafka SSL directory. I mean, all we need to do is run uh, make create all. This is creating a, uh, a, CH, um, a CA and then creating the key stores and trust stores and signing the certificates and then copying those certificates uh, like the key stores and trust stores to the server. Here we are configuring decodable with uh, um, uh, TLS, so we'll walk through that after this is all completed. Okay, this is all done. Let's go to the the broker to check out what's ha what has happened. Let's see what uh, what the contents of our SSL directory is. So there's our key store and trust store. So now we need to configure our broker with this configuration. Okay, so I'm going to actually um, set this to, I've already set it up, so um, I guess need to copy this. I set my host name on my EC2 instance, <clears throat> uh, the path to my key store and trust store and the passwords. The passwords correspond to the server side <clears throat> passwords. Let's copy that. And we want to look at the uh, or edit the uh, the config file for the servers the server properties there we go so in here we want to make a little space for ourselves and paste those properties here and save that okay now we're ready to go um, let's start zookeeper first we want that to run in the background and we want to give it the configure uh, its configuration file in the config directory. Next, we want to run Kafka server start. We want to run that in the foreground so we can watch. Actually, we forgot to uh, set the property. So let's um, environment variable to debug, and we want to run Kafka. In the foreground, config server properties. There's some already some logs for TLS. Great. Uh, let's now test our clients. Okay, so let's create a, a client configuration. I've already created one here uh, for us. SSL. This is the password for the client and the paths to my um, key store and trust store. And here's that property to not verify host, uh, host names, okay? And if you look at our um, tasks in the, uh, the make file, we're going to produce some data and use that client's properties. Um, and uh, this is, auto, I don't have, a, um, I have set on the back and then the cluster, a Kafka cluster to create topics automatically. So when I run this, it'll create this topic for you automatically. So I don't need to create that topic. So I just wanna run this make task right here. So let's go to our local computer, make, produce. Actually, I want to test our endpoint first. Let's do that first. I'm going to run our host, or I'm sorry, I'm going to get our host IP. Where's that?
Okay, last demo. And replace the host IP with this value. It looks like we got a, a server certificate. So looks like we have a valid um, M, uh, T, MTLS endpoint. So let's test out the, the Kafka producer. And we have some data here already, so we just go to the directory. Um, yeah, just copy that and paste that into the. Uh, so now we have one message in there. Let's try to consume that message. So make Java consume. And this is reading it from the beginning, and there's a lot more messages. I, it looks like it, I sent a, a sent earlier. So I have a the topic I'm reading. So I'm reading this from the beginning of the the topic. Okay. So we just cancel that. So we now ha are able to produce and consume from the uh, locally using the uh, the. Um, the Kafka console producer and consumer. Now we want to see what we've done in Decodable. So the um, the uh, the Kafka MTLS source was created using that make file script. So if you look at that and the details here, you'll see that there is a uh, broker certificate. That certificate was obtained from our uh, local uh, SSL directory. It is the the signed server cert. So if you look at that, if you cat SSL, this is that certificate that we placed into this value here, the broker certificate. This is set to uh, 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 um, certifi certificate signing request. So this is basically doing exactly what we did up here, where the, each the broker and the client request for a certificate to be signed and that's what this is we need to grab this value here and paste that into a, a, a decodable cert file request and run a uh, get the R certificates authority and run open SSL which is this command here sign cert we use OpenSSL here. Uh, we, here's our certificate authority. It's a cert in the key. The input is the the cert request, which would be the codable cert, uh, cert request, and then the output is the signed certificate that we take and give back to the codable. And we've already done that. This is the uh, the certificate request, and we've already grabbed the signed certificate and and updated the the end uh, the connection with that signed certificate so now we can just start this uh, start this um, connection and we'll watch our uh, server you can see there's already some communication between uh, the codable uh, the the codable connection and um, this Kafka instance. I'll just pause for a second to uh, let this start up. Well, as you can see, it's still starting. Um, I've already been able to send some data to it. We can start uh, send more data here. Grab more data, copy, paste it. And what we should be able to see is another record in the corresponding streams um, table that the connection is connected to. So <clears throat> let's try that right now. 
There we are. There's your latest data. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to uh, support that at uh, decodable.co or join our community Slack channel uh, and ask us in the general uh, channel to and with any questions that you have and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks a lot.